Well, the first dish that's gonna come out, it's uh, shrimp and grits. And basically grits are a very popular South Indian breakfast. And these are semolina grits. And they have uh, tiger prawns and a creamy lemony sauce. The first beer is a Pilsner. It's a German style beer uh, with a little uh, Bohemian or Czech twist. It happens to be what we say dry hop. It's a cold infusion like making a tea, so you get a little bit of this lemongrass nose on an otherwise very dry, satisfying, refreshing beer. Okay, the first course was a shrimp and grits. It was kind of an appetizer, and I it had a, like a nice cream sauce on top, and it was amazing. It was very subtle seasoning, um, so it was really nice for a start, and the beer that it came with was very light, and then the beer being light, you know, contrasted it really nicely. Well, the shrimp and grits, I'm already addicted, but to put curry and cilantro, Oh, it was heaven. My favorite item today was the shrimp and grits with the uh, the pills. It was a really good combo. Shrimp and grits, awesome. I love and, the uh, yeah, my <laughs> uh, With the pills beer. It was a very good combination. The next dish that's going to come out is the fish tacos, grilled mai mai, and a ginger sauce, and some red cabbage, and a little pico de And it's paired on the side with Indian style refried beans, which is the dal makhani. So the next beer is called Opal. This is a Cezanne style beer, which is a Belgian style beer. And the beer actually uh, takes on a Sauvignon Blanc-like nose, a very lemony, refreshing nose. This lemony, lightly spiced beer is, is a perfect pairing with this grilled fish. So see what you all think. The, the second pairing, the fish tacos and the opal. Well, the fish tacos were great. Uh, full of flavor, uh, grilled mai. Uh, and I love mai, always do, always have. And uh, the pairing with the opal, the beer had just enough citrus that you want with a fish taco or with any kind of uh, seafood. Uh, it just paired perfectly. Really, really complemented each other uh, just really well. First, I, I like to say to Chef that the taco and Cezanne pairing is one of the best pairings we've ever had, in, in, at least in beer dinners that I've done. So thank you, Chef. That was absolutely amazing. It blew my mind. And we just call it ribs namaste. And then we're also pairing it with the barbecue sauce, which we sell, by the way, which is the rib sauce. And it has masala fries, crushed coriander, and vinegar, some turmeric, some red chili, and some cumin. Next up, we have Union Jack IPA. Some of you may know what the term IPA means, but it means India Pale Ale. This beer in particular is a nice malt middle. There's a sweetness there that is balanced out by American hop. Our hops tend to exhibit the citrusy side of the spectrum. So what you'll see there is kind of a tangerine citrus note. Again, this, this pairing should be as amazing as the last. See, see what you think. How are the ribs? Did they say a namaste to you? Did you like the flavors, all the spices in there? My favorite was the ribs. I love the ribs. The sauce had a little sweetness to it, but the pepper flakes inside gave it a kick. The last item on in the savory side is a, is a filet mignon. Again, it's marinated with Indian spices. It's got a black pepper sauce that I absolutely love, and just uh, sauteed baby spinach. Pretty simple, but it's it's my favorite. So this next beer is Wookie Jack. Wookie. This is a black rye IPA. A hybrid beer, if you will, because this beer pleases ear drinkers who like porter and stout, uh, richer, maltier beers, and also people who like hoppy, um, more citrusy, piney beers. This is a dark beer. Also add rye to our black IPA. 6% rye in this beer and it adds a spice note. This beer is complex. So, see what you think. And the filet was very good too. Very good. A mango passion fruit cardamom ice cream. It's our homemade recipe. It's, it's a very special beer. It's the first time this beer has ever been released in the state of Illinois. Uh, it's, it's a beer that we brew as a component in a series of beers that are brewery that um, are blended each year to create our anniversary beer. So this beer, Sticky Monkey, it is based on a Belgian quadruple. This is the first time this beer has ever been released on its own. 